Hi, my name is John DeLiva, third year medical student, currently rotating with Dr. Ben Zer at the Cardiovascular Institute. Today I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about a patient, a 25 year old male with syncope. Um, with every EKG, the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and find the rate. You look at the rate, um, I'll go with lead two, and you can see there's 300, 150, 175. So the rate's between 75 to 100. There's neither tachycardic, which is above 100, or bradycardic, which is below 60. The rate's between 75 to 100. The second thing you want to do in, um, is to find uh, the rhythm. So you look at the QRS complex, and you look at the P. Is there a P for every QRS? And yes, there is. There is a P for every QRS. And then you also, vice versa, you look at the QRS. Is there a QRS for every P? And you can also appreciate that in lead two, that there's a QRS for every P. Okay. And after that, you know that it's a normal sinus rhythm, non-tachycardic, uh, non-bradycardic, and then you go ahead and you scan. You look at the EKG. What do you see? Here in lead two strip, I can appreciate some atrial premature complexes here, 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 and here. So you can appreciate some atrial premature complexes on lead two. Another thing is that you can also notice that the QRS voltages are pronounced. Um, if you look at V5, V1, you can, one of the things that I'm looking for is left ventricular hypertrophy that I see here. Because when you add V5 and the R wave in V5 and the S wave in V1, and if it's greater than 40 millimeters, then that tells you that it's a left ventricular hypertrophy. Another finding is to look at AVR and the, you look at the S wave. And if it's greater than 15 millimeters, then that also indicates left ventricular hypertrophy. And then if you also look at AVF and you look at the R wave, and that's greater than 21 millimeters, that also indicates left ventricular hypertrophy. So this EKG is leading us towards the idea that this patient has a left ventricular hypertrophy. Um, also another common finding in left ventricular hypertrophy is T wave inversions. If you look at lead one, and it's a little more pronounced in one, as well as in two. Here you can see a T wave inversion. Also at two, there's a T wave inversion. And that's a common finding in left ventricular hypertrophy. Um, so what comes to mind with a 25 year old male with syncope, EKG shows left ventricular hypertrophy with T wave abnormalities. One of the things that is suggestive of is hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. And that is indeed what the patient is going through. Um, and that's it.